Boo Podcast. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. So just um, this is uh, breaking news that Harvey Weinstein was uh, found guilty on two of the counts. I'm mm -hmm. sure that's rocking the entertainment world. It um, is. It is. I'm actually very excited to read all the headlines once I leave here. So well, let me uh, reiterate that breaking news. But it did turn out, uh, Lauren, that it seems like the three counts with Annabella Sciorra, mm. um, the jurors weren't necessarily buying it as bad as it was, and they, they eliminated those. Um, does that, you think, reflect on Annabella Sciorra? You know, I think maybe a little bit, but again, I, I wasn't there, I'm not sure. Um, Side note, I feel like I'm channeling my inner Carmela Soprano today I with, with this little yeah. zip up. But, um, <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I do. I feel for Annabella. That's, that's really too bad. So speaking of uh, Sopranos, yes. well, that's the big rage today because she was on the uh, Sopranos. Yes. Um, I want to talk to you about there's a lot of stuff happening here in New York. Right yes, now. And, yes. Uh, there's a bunch of Broadway openings here in New York. And mm -hmm. uh, Joey Panel uh, Joe Pantoliano from yes. The Sopranos. Uh, is open in a play that you had a chance to uh, take. Yes, are you a theater fan? Or... I am a theater fan. I can okay. be very theatrical when called upon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that you're really going to like this. So Drift is a new play. It opens at New World Stages March 16th. It actually starts previews this Saturday. Um, but like you said, Joe Pantoliano, a.k.a. Joey Pants, is the star. And it's about a family that's going through a lot of drama. But Joe actually says that we will laugh as well. It's also directed by Academy Award winner Bobby Moresco, who wow. is best known for Crash. So uh, that's super exciting. I, I actually can't wait to see it. And then there's a new show called Company that's opening in March as well. Company's not actually new. They're just doing a new twist on it. It's the Stephen Sondheim musical about a man named Bobby who turns 35, and he's still single. And all his friends are like, when are you getting married? Blah, blah, blah. But this version, Bobby is a woman. So it's very progressive, and it stars Katrina Lank as Bobby and Patti LuPone. So now I understand we have a little video that you brought us that yes. I want to take a look at. Yes. It's a beautiful little theater, you know, it's nice and intimate, and it's, you know, with, with Broadway, it's uh, in the Broadway district, but you can see a great new play for, you know, 70 or $80. You know, you can't, you can't walk by a Broadway house without costing, you know, $200. <laughs> That's so, so true. There's a couple of good songs, you know. Um, and also a really uh, fascinating and fresh um, perspective that Marianne Elliott has um, placed the, the show in. So there's like an Alice in Wonderland sort of um, concept of it. Like it's all happening in Bobby's head. And we sort of see her go through these experiences through her lens in a way. So it's a, a really interesting way of telling the story. Well, uh, you know where all the cool kids hang out, that's for sure. I want to point out I to try. you that you, want, you may want to check this out, but a uh, good friend of mine, Tom Scarpacci, Staten Islanders, both, um, his daughter was just cast in uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, Annalise Scarpacci. Oh, wow, um, that looks so Staten good. Fam. And uh, yeah, you got to take that in for us. I, maybe. I can't wait. The music actually sounds incredible from what I've heard so far, so... Well, pretty uh, excited. The Robin Williams was a, was a rip in the in the movie. I'm mm. sure the the stage version will be awesome as well. Mm -hmm. Any other things going on? Can you can you dig into your entertainment uh, Rolodex and get us uh, <laughs> some insights on what people are thinking now about this this verdict? Like, is this gonna change anything in Hollywood that Harvey Weinstein found guilty? A lot of guys are gonna be scared today that they may be found guilty. I don't think it's going to change anything. I think things have calmed down just a tad in the last six months. I don't know about you, but I, I think it's for the best. So I'm really happy with the verdict. So uh, Kathy Bates, a famous you know, Academy Award winner, unbelievable. Um, she said, you know, in my day, when you got invited to the producer's hotel room, you pretty much knew what you were going there for. So I guess times have changed now. You know, it's not just not like that anymore, mm -hmm. it seems. Right. And uh, with good reason. I think this guy apparently took it to the max, and the jury found that uh, he deserves to be in jail. He's disgusting, so I agree with that. <laughs> well, uh, Lauren Conlon brings us all the news you need to know about entertainment, about Hollywood, about Broadway, and all that good stuff. Um, and you got to check out the Red Carpet Rendezvous podcast.
which is one of the finest podcasts around. Thank and, you. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to keep you uh, up to speed on what's happening with the uh, coronavirus fears and uh, to maybe uh, release, uh, relieve a little anxiety. Dr. Robbie Ludwig's going to be here to uh, break it down. Right after this. We need more than a fox to guard the liberal media.